What is up guys, my name is Asteroid and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. In the previous episode, we made it down to the basement, the uh, the bowels of the Aether Foundation. We learned a lot about Cosmog and, and Type Null and Gladion. If you guys did miss that episode, definitely make sure to go back and check it out. In today's episode, we're going to be heading back up into the elevator and unveiling whatever's going to come next. Also, I want to go ahead and explore Lab B, if we can real quick. Because we will probably uncover a lot of stuff about Type Null that we were previously unaware of. If you guys enjoy, and if you guys are ready for today's episode, smash that like button for me. Also, answer the question of the day. I'd really appreciate it. But that being said, let's go over the team real quick. First up, we have my boy Cypher with the Fiery MZ, the Nice and Powerful Slazzle with Flame Burst, Toxic, Nasty Blot, and Sludge Bomb. <sighs> we have Hawk. I'm losing my breath. Acrobatic, Spark, Crunch, and Egg Scissor. We have Sean level 35 with Rock Slide, Swords, Dance, Sand Attack, and Bite. We have Mod level 35 with Skull, Aqua Ring, Fan Attack, and Brine. We have Peekaboo at level 36 with Shadow Sneak, Swords, Dance, Shadow Ball, and Leech Life. And then finally, we have Houdini level 38 with Swords, Dance, Razor Leaf, Spirit, Spirit Shackle, and Pluck. So yes, I am kind of losing my breath here. I don't know why. I've just been recording for uh, over an hour now, and I guess I'm just losing my breath. Hopefully I don't lose my voice too, because this is getting way too wild, man. It's getting way too wild. In, out. So this is where Type Null was created. I want to read a lot of this stuff. There are some suspicious de looking deleted files. Would you like to look at them? File 2. Oh my goodness. So this is going to tell the story of Type Null, isn't it? BKP. What does that stand for? BKP. What could that stand for? Development record number 2. Anti-Ultra Beast Fighting Life Form. Beast Killer. What? The President has approved the proposed budget for this development project. So it will be implemented. File 5. So, Type Null Savali was meant to be an Ultra Beast Killer. That is so dope. BKP Development Record Number 5. Materials for development have been collected from the Canalave Library in the Sinnoh region. And that's how it's based on Arceus, because it relates to Sinnoh. <laughs> ah! So, they, they took information from Sinnoh, and they made this fake Arceus to rival the Ultra Beast. Plans are being drawn up for the specifications of the Type Change Program, known as the RKS system. The Arceus system. Ah, uh, so how, this is how, this is how it was related to, related to Arceus, because the Aether Foundation noticed how Arceus, Arceus was like renowned as this type changing Pokemon, and they wanted to replicate that in order to help their efforts to fight the Ultra Beast, and that's how Type Null and Savali were created. Work is underway on designing the specifications of, of special memories for said system, the RKS system. Alright, file number seven. BKP development. What does BKP stand for? Collection of cells of all types for genetic modeling have been completed. Blueprints for the skeletal structure have been approved, and incubation of the bioframe is underway. So th this is them this is them in the process of making Savali. BKB development number, uh, record number 11. Dummy test of the RKS system program has been completed. Type has been successfully altered with all 18 special memories. The transplanted of the RKS system program to the models is underway. The BK... BK... The BK's official name has been set as Type Full? Type Full. That was the original name for Savali. Interesting. BKB development record number 18. Production of three models has been completed. They are identified as serial number 01, serial number 02, and serial number 03. All three models rejected the Arceus system upon initialization during testing. Shortly after these initialization errors, all three models of Type Full went berserk. So there were three Type Nulls. BKB development number 44. Models have been fitted with control masks to uh, mi mitigate the effects of the rejection of the Arceus system. To the information of these control mass arc system initially initial test have failed. All three miles of type full are to not be cry or are to be cryogenically frozen for the rest of eternity. 
The name of these miles have been changed from type full to type null. Wow! Okay, so there were three type nulls, three type fulls, all right? Neither of them succeeded in accepting the Arceus system. So Volley was what they originally looked like, but then, but then, um, they had to put those masks on it to become type null. And the mask is what type null wears. And then when it evolves, when it breaks the mask, it evolves into Savali. There's something loaded on the screen. Would you like to take a look at it? Yes. Introduction, multitasking, hedging risk, massaging the truth. I need to read all of this. I'm sorry. This is the blog of F, a branch chief working in the Alola region. Title, introduction. Are you interested in success, dear readers? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is F and I am an elite self-made man. Is this Baba? Here on my blog, I will show you the way to succeed. Multitasking. This is the blog of F, a branch chief working in the Alola region. T title, multitasking. Currently, I'm working on the development of a special sort of ball, which I took over from my predecessor in parallel with another project. Seeing how well I multitask impresses my subordinates and increases their motivation. Showing how skillful you are is a kind of on-the-job training for your underlings. So this is coming from the guy that made that made Type Null, and also the guy that made the uh, the Beast Ball. This is the blog of F, a branch chief working in the Alola region. Hedging risk. I once ventured to undertake a project without notifying my superior. I developed a device to restrain a dangerous life form in case it became necessary to do so. I had it made for hedging risk to protect, to protect myself, but for better or worse, it was made public. It is always essential to consider the risk before one takes action. <sighs> this is deep. I don't know what all of this is. I don't know who's writing this, but it's deep. Massaging, or yeah, massaging the truth. My superior's family stole the results of my of our research and ran off. However, I have chosen to never blow this issue out of proportion. I will only reprimand for my own mistakes. And surely my superior is also displeased with the actions of her family as well. When necessary, one must protect. What will One must always be prepared to massage the truth. To protect one's own position it is not an exaggeration to say that this skill is vital for success. I really don't know what all this is about, honestly. All right, guys, sorry for the interruption, but we are back. Uh, I think now is about time we're gonna be leaving the secret labs and heading up, I guess. Let's go. Where's, where's the, where? Seriously? Gladion, you just left us? All right, entrance, docks. Um, entrance. I'm really, really interested to see what happens, man. After all the backstory we've learned about Cosmog potentially being an Ultra Beast, and like, the music, oh my goodness, and, and like all the information we got on Type Null, it's crazy. It's wild. Asteroid. Huh. Even beating down old Faba doesn't change, does he? Is Faba here? What do we do? Beat over stands in our way. What other choice do we have? Fine, fine. We can't do that. But what do you have to say? Huh? All the time? <laughs> wow, now we're surrounded. Rip. Hello, children. I'm afraid Branch Chief Faba has given us orders regarding you three. Now that you've heard of the darkness at the heart of... They're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us. Ah! Now that you've learned of the darkness at the Aether, heart of Aether Paradise, we'll need you all to conveniently disappear. Whoa, Astrid, battle with me. Wait, 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 wait. This is a kid's game. You can't, you can't be killing, you can't be killing us. Yo, what if instead of killing us, they try to dispose of us by throwing us into a, into a wormhole? Could you imagine if we got to go into the Aether? No, not the Aether. Could you imagine if we got, if we got to travel, like, into, um, what's it? Travel into the, into the Ultra Wormhole? I mean, we found out there is a universe behind that wormhole. So what if we actually get to go there? Kind of like Distortion World type of style? You know, you know what I'm saying? That would be insane. I ride you go for the Thunderbolts. That was a smart move, but except I went for Spark. So now that's going to be useless against the Mudsdale. Honestly, I, I didn't think you were competent enough to go for the, uh... The, uh, the, 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 the thing. The, the, the Pelipper. So, kind of a, kind of a mistake on my end. But it's alright, it's alright. He goes into his Primaria. That's pretty powerful. 
That's very powerful. Um, I'm gonna swap out. Because right, right now, I mean, Hawk really can't do that much against the Mudsdale. Hopefully, you know, hopefully Howard just kind of bodies it with a Scald. I mean, I love Primaria. I'm using one in my Sun copy, and it's so good. It's so good. He goes for... The, is this, oh, wait. Is this a sparkling area? Oh, no. Hydro Vortex. Okay, good. Good. Did he go for us? Bruh! This man attacked us! Hang on! Did Hal really just attack us? What what is that bullcrap? What what is that bullcrap? Our disguise just broke. The Z move didn't actually happen. I I think Hal actually just attacked us. What? How? I hate how so much. I hate him. No, I don't care. How you suck. How sucks. All right, don't at me. How you are the worst. The actual worst. That did nothing. Oh my goodness. And now he's got the stamina boost. I hate stamina. Stamina's too good. Sparkling area. Okay, that's fine. It's just the the Z move. The Z move. I can't. I can't show. Oh, I get what happened. I get what happened. The Z move is a spread move, isn't it? The Z move is a spread move, and because our disguise blocked it, it it blocked it for him too, right? Is that's what I'm gonna assume? I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he didn't just attack us to attack us. He he tried to attack everyone, but then my disguise blocked it all. Ridiculous! Have the children of Alola always been this strong? That's what you get when you go through the trials of the Island Challenge. Now that you understand, how about you get out? Has Gladion done the Island Challenge? That's interesting. Few things, Asteroid and Charger Bug. When you're fighting a battle you can't afford to lose, you really can't waver at all. Yeah, how? You should be telling yourself that. Can't waver at all. He's attacking us. Okay. Let's go. You know. I know we aren't friends, but I'm glad you two are here. I remember what you said at Battle Royale Dome that day, how? About how people can achieve more if they do something together. Looks like maybe you were right. Gladion, please be our friend. You're the best freaking character in this game all right wick wick ooh young master ah oh, master master gladion's got some uh <laughs> gladion's got some got some authority here well, what do you mean young master it's been a long time and hello to you two asteroid and how please allow me to heal your po Wick! Wick, whose side are you on? Yo, what if Wick is still loyal to Gladion? What's happened to Lily? Do you know anything? I imagine that she... Oh, that's the wrong voice. I imagine that she is with the president. And that's where I'm going. That's all I need to know. The, the, the president, that, that's Miss Lusamine, right? She's a really nice... Pro oh, how? Oh, how? <laughs> you naive little fool. So I'm sure she'll listen to us if we explain everything. Yeah, she's real nice, as long as you mean nothing to her. But I'm afraid the doors have been locked. Again? That's not stopping me. We'll break down the doors. Let's go. Oh, she's that way. She's at the at the house. Ooh. All right, guys. So I'm not sure how long these episodes um, are. I really hope not one episode is too long or too short. We're going to keep on going, though, until I feel like it's a reasonable place to stop. What's up, Faba? My, my, what naughty children. He's just layer the heavy heads. So is, is Wick, like, still loyal to Gladion and not the Aether Foundation? But I knew that you would struggle onward. I could see through every action you would take. So I knew you would try to reach the president. And that is why I knew that I'd be able to ambush you here and remedy my previous failure. The only reason I could delay you in the lower four was to buy time to gather more staff to stop you. So, uh, um, wrong voice. <clears throat> so, Mr. Faba, do you have the key to the president's rooms? Indeed, I have it right here. So, if you just stayed hidden, we would we would have been stuck here anyway, right? <laughs> oh, Faba, what? Enough, you lot. Teach these children a lesson. 
We don't have time for this. Help me out here, asteroid. Now we're battling with Gladion. Yo, yo, this is so dope. I I like how they're making the whole because like this happens in every Pokemon game, where you have to break into the evil team's base, and you have to um. Yeah, you have to like. You have to like battle all of them, you know? You have to battle all the grunts. You have to battle everything pretty much, right? So I like how they're making it interesting though. Like it's not it's not just What am I trying to say? Yo, look at the lag. Oh my god. What am I trying to say? It's not It's not just a, a grunt and then a grunt and then a grunt. There's like story in between. There's important characters in between. There's there's freaking there's freaking Gladion, you know? This is so cool. All right, we're gonna go into mob. I'm gonna stop praising this game. I mean, I'm not gonna stop praising the game. I'm gonna stop being obnoxious with it. We're gonna go into our school form. Nice and powerful. Hopefully the game doesn't like crash on us. He goes for Electro Ball. That's gonna hurt. Please go for Golbat. Thank you. I'm sorry, Gladion. Thank you for taking a hit for us though. Acrobatics. You see, Gladion's smart. Gladion knows what he's doing. But there's the Flame Body, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. He goes for Lava Plume. That's gonna be able to hit everybody. Wow, okay, that's fine. And he burns his own partner. That's unfortunate. I think Gladion, or not Gladion, I think Golbat's gonna go down though. Yeah, shoot. At least we have Mob here though, so we can go for the Scald, knock out the Magmar. And uh, Scald should also do a good chunk to the Electabuzz. He sent in Type Null. There's my boy. Oh, Type Null. You sad, sad creature. We're gonna go for the Brian on uh, Magmar. Knock that thing out. Hopefully, yo, the light screen. He's making plays. Hopefully, Type Null bodies the uh, Electabuzz, please. Please, Lava Plume again, dude. You're gonna you're gonna kill someone. You're gonna kill your own teammate before you kill us, honestly. All right, go for the Electabuzz. He went for the Magmar. That's fine. That's fine. Because now Brian will double in power and still do damage to the Electabuzz. Look at all that experience. Now we're level 36, almost level 40. That's a little bit wild. That's a little bit wild. We only have one more trial and one more Kahuna. And then we actually beat this game. That's crazy. You look at Mob putting in the finest of work. Hey, look at all the experience. Hawks level 36. Yeah, gets back to honest Pokemon conservation activities for me. Listen to you generated dark feelings in me. Jeez, man, everyone's evil here. Everyone's evil. How can this be to be cornered by here by mere children? Maybe helping one another one another out isn't so bad. Astrid how? I leave Faba to you. Alright. Enough, I will show you the true power of Branch Chief Faba. The man who is called Aether Paradise's last line of defense. We will settle this at last with a multi-battle. Come on, Asteroid, let's show him what our Pokemon are capable of. For Lily and, and for Cosmog too. I like how Fabo just kind of gives him that ugly look. Are you only going to have a Hypno? Because if you only have a Hypno, I'm sorry, but you are, you are garbage. Last line of defense? Okay. Okay, this man has three Pokemon. Never mind. He has a Slowbro. All right, this just got real. How? How? Make sure you're actually a good battler this time, okay? Don't do anything stupid. By the way, you guys remember how uh, the core kept on falling out? I fixed it. I fixed it. All right, I'm gonna go for the. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the spark because it's super effective on both of them. And if Raichu ends up knocking out one of them, then then we should be good to go to finish him off or hit the other one. He goes for a flex. That's horrible. That is horrible for my boy Hawk. Please kill. Silver is very defensive. He does die though, which is nice. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look at that experience. He sends out a br is that a Bruxious? Hey, this is our first time seeing one in game. All right, I know our physical attacks are, are halved, but I'm gonna go for the Spark nonetheless on the Ledian. Hopefully, Raichu targets the Bruxious with that Thunderbolt. There's a Quick Claw, nice and Spark. It's probably not gonna kill. It does do a good amount of damage though. Thunderbolt on Bruxious get demolished. Oh, why is your entire team weak to electric? Everything is weak to electric. Everything's weak to electric. There's the light screen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, considering there's there's two player models, 
or there, there's two like characters. Um, there's two characters. There's four Pokemon models. I mean, considering the amount of like craziness that's going on in the game right now. I mean, actually, there's there's two of us too. The 3DS is handling it surprisingly well. And this is the original 3DS. It's not not the new 3DS. So I mean, while, while the lag is unfortunate, it's not like it's not unbearable. I think literally the only downside to this game, if I had to give like two downsides to this game off the top of my head, I'd say the lag and um, what's it? And uh, and the 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 the, the I completely forgot it. I, I was gonna say something, but I forgot it. Oh yeah, and uh, the the running away mechanics. Because, like, when you're trying to, The problem with this is it's based on, like, the 5th gen running away mechanics, I think. Where you can't run away if you're slower. It's based on speed. But the problem this creates is that if you're trying to level up a lower level Pokemon, it's harder to run away. It's like, I always put the lowest level up front. And, like, when I'm running through the grass, it makes it almost impossible to run away consistently. Because of the fact that the Pokemon is so lower leveled. I, I don't know what it is, but I think they did change it. Next and why it was different. It makes them why it was a lot easier to run away. And I wish it was easier to run away because, I don't know, it just gets obnoxious. Alright, anyways, anyways. We're gonna go ahead and keep old moves. Dig isn't really of much use to us. He goes for hypnosis. I mean, just, just the fact that this man has a hypno is reason enough not to trust him. Honestly. Like, why, why a hypno? Why? Alright, right, you please body this thing. We're gonna we're gonna be out of commission here for a second. Oh, by the way, by the way, good news. I was gonna say this earlier. Good news. I actually did get my hands on Homebrew, so I can Poke Gen Pokemon. Meaning, meaning that Sun and Moon Wi-Fi is coming very very soon. By the time this video comes up, we might have already had a Wi-Fi battle. I don't know, but I can use Sun and Moon Wi-Fi, so expect Wi-Fi battle videos and expect Wi-Fi battle streams as well. In my Sun copy, I've been working on a bunch of teams. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So hopefully you guys are excited for that as well. I thought we were going to have to wait until the end of the game. But there's this new hacks for homebrew called Sound Hacks. And it allows you to access homebrew. Nightmare, oh my goodness. It allows you to access homebrew on on uh, uh, the firmware 11.2. So that's pretty dope. Hopefully you guys are ready for that. Yo, look at that. I love the animation. I love the nightmare animation. The Reflect War, uh, war Off, please. Please, we just have to land one X scissor and this thing is gone. Then again, it is level 40, so I don't know. Raichu wakes up, goes for the T-Bolt. Come on, wake up. Wake up, Charger Bug. We do, uh, we do snag the paralysis there. He's paralyzed. Yeah, there we go, Charger Bug. You legend. You legend. Even though Charger Bug isn't evolved, he still holds his own. Like Sean was telling me, Sean was telling me that uh, Charger Bug sucks unless you put an Evulite on it. No. I mean, I'm sure it's better with an Evulite, but still, that's still, it's still good. Even even though it evolves so late, it's still usable, which is cool. I want to help save Lily, so I'm going ahead. You don't mind, right? Yo, Gladian is pissed, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the key, Mr. Baba. Wow. This man is so humiliated he can't even speak. This is why, this is why I can't bring myself to like children. Am I going? I want to go. The door opens up. Oh man. If you want to find Lucy, we got to get to the entrance on, on first floor before it's too late. Uh, should we end this episode here? You know what? Actually, I don't know. I don't know if we should. No, we're not gonna end the episode here. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I really don't know how long how long these episodes are, so I'm like estimating. Team Skull, what? Gladion, run! That building is so nice. Guzma, Guzma, why are they here? Bruh. Why? Okay, are, are Team Skull and the Aether Foundation working together? I thought they were enemies. Like, I never thought they would be. Wor Are they working together? They might actually be working together, and it, it might it might just be more. 
it might just be, um, what is it? It might just be even more than just a payment thing. They might be like in a partnership together. Well, it was like an Uku Billion Team Skull thugs in this place. So if a nation really was working together with Team Skull, yo, I called that. I called that. This is like way too mind blowing to think about right now. Actually, let's knock some skulls together for now. I didn't think they'd be working with Team Skull. I thought. Do you think the leaves would the mean? That's what you said, right? Okay, I think I think what I expected to happen was I expected they the nation to be paying Team Skull to do their dirty work. But I, I didn't think it was like a partnership type thing. I thought it was just like a, a bounty hunter type thing. You know what I'm talking about? Wow. So if Team Skull is working with with the Aether Bardation, why was why would why would why would Gladian be with Team Skull? I thought the reason why he joined Team Skull was to separate himself from the Aether Foundation. Who the heck are you? Oh, this is genius. All right, they're dead. Um, is there anything over here? Can we ride Pokemon? No. Is there an item? Yo, what is this place? What is this place? Oh my goodness. The Aether Foundation is so cool. Alright, so we're gonna battle some of these Team Skull Grunts. And then try and make our way over to Gladion and Guzma. It's ya boy! It's ya boy, Guzma. Alright, is there anything over here? Anything worth my time? A... A full heal, alright. I'll take that. But yeah, this place is crazy, man. I like how we're outside the Aether Foundation now, so like... You can see it down on the mini-map. Alright. What's up, my dude? I gotta keep the boss from getting his hands dirty, so I'm gonna wreck you myself. Wow. Who would've, like... Who, who would've thought that Team Skull and the other Foundation are working together? And, like... I don't know, man. And like the, the, the Aether Foundation's whole cover up is that they're conserving Pokemon and they're protecting Pokemon from Team Skull, but in reality, they're working with Team Skull. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's wild. I, I didn't, as I said, I didn't expect it to be a partnership type thing. Honestly, I didn't ex I thought they were gonna be rivals. Like when we were really early on the game, before we, before we went here, I thought that it was going to be a race. Like, I thought Team Skull was going to get their hands on Nebby, and then the other Foundation was, was going to try and steal it, steal Nebby back and use it for their own intent, and Team Skull was going to have their own ambitions and their, and their own goals, and they were going to, like, rival each other, like Team Magma and Team Aqua, you know? That's what I thought it was going to be. That's what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a Team Skull was going to be on, on the pillar. They're going to be trying to summon Lunala and Sogaleo, and the other Foundation was going to step in and they were going to come in being kind of like acting like the heroes of the situation. But in reality, they're there just to steal Nebby and take the legendary for themselves. I thought that was going to be the whole, the whole Aether Foundation is evil unveiling. I thought that was going to be it. But no! This, this is for the sponsor who supports Team Skull. So Aether Foundation kind of like sponsors them? That's weird. That's weird, man. I thought they were going to be complete, complete opposites, you know? But it turns out that Aether Foundation just protecting Pokemon from Team Skull was just a cover-up. The story is so deep. Best Sun and Moon. Or be best Sun and Moon. Best Pokemon game. I'm telling you right now. Best Pokemon game. Just like, it's, it's Pokemon with a story. And that's what I've wanted for so long. And that's why Black and White was my favorite. But I, I think Sun and Moon does take the cake here. I, I'm confident in saying that Sun and Moon does take the cake. Alright, that, that needed to do a little bit more damage. Just, just a little bit more. He goes for the crunch, it's gonna hurt live! Okay, that was close. I don't have any more revives. So if Hawk dies, or if anyone dies, then we're in a bad spot. Because I can't revive them. Alright. Alright. You know what, guys? 
we're gonna save all the crazy stuff that happens next for the next episode. Alright? I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. We should be back very, very soon with another episode. I really appreciate you guys' support. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Answer the question of the day, all that good stuff. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Peace! Yeah.